So the journey of the girl who looks very, very slowly continues. Alright, now what were we doing? Complaining about how boring things were. Right. <laughs> that war is just... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, out the front door. Into the big wide world. Okay. Well, you look like a fairly unsavory character, don't you? <laughs> Simba looks like Zayn. Kiss me. Oye, Senorita. Yes? How are you this morning, Senorita Bonita? Bonita? Uh, hot? Busy? Yeah, we're busy. Busy. I see. Everyone's busy today. You have a big show coming up soon, yes? That's right. Gotta run. I'll see you around. Sunshine and pretty senoritas give an old man like me the blues. I like my days cold and rainy. In fact, I think I prefer the world to be in black and white. Like an old movie. Like all good movies. But tell me, Senorita mm. Ryan, how would you describe your perfect day? Um... Well, me personally, it would be cold and rainy, but since it's like yours, I guess it's hot and sunny. Hot and sunny like this one. Well then, you should be happy to be alive today, yes? It is a perfect day. But you are not happy, are you? You are troubled by nightmares. Da, da, da. What? You are afraid of them. You even fear your dreams may be real. <clears throat> Who told you about my nightmares? No one. I can tell from looking into your eyes. I see the ghosts that haunt you. I don't know who you've been talking to, but from now on, stay the hell away from me in my personal life. No puedo, señorita Ryan. You have a destiny. Destiny? I don't care what you think. Just, just leave me alone. If you don't face them, I'm afraid your nightmares will continue. Soon they will appear to you even when you're awake. You need some serious help, you know that? We all do, April. That's the reason we are here, you and but me. That's it. I don't have to listen to this. Perdóname. I've upset you. We didn't think you'd react this way. I hope we can talk again soon. I don't think so, no. Please, um. think about it. And señorita, cuidado. Be careful. What an ominous conversation. Why is options flashing? Ah, April's diary. Okay. Right. Well, I'm going to have it just on each of these for a second or two. You can pause and read it yourself, but I'm not going to bother. Eh. Eh. How many of these are there? Oh, okay. <laughs> Main menu. Return to game. Ah, oh, mural. It's a nice mural. I love this mural. Hmm. Even though the motif so. is a little trite. I mean, fairy tale forests and magical dragons? Still, it's pretty. I wonder what happened to the artist. Probably making a bundle from cheesy fantasy calendars and book covers. Okay. To the bridges. Walk faster, goddammit. <laughs> Who's this guy? Clock. Go to the cafe. Let me get this. We're gonna bump into this guy. <laughs> no? April Ryan, you have got to get past yourself. 
Ah, well that explains a lot. I was wondering why the guy called me Ryan. It's because my last name is Ryan. Okay. To the subway. To the cafe. To the park. Let's have a look at the clock. From what I've been told, the clock stopped on the very day of the infamous Venice Massacre in 2109, to the minute the police opened fire on the squatters. Ugh. Sounds pleasant. Um, to the park, that sounds nice. Ugh. Okay, just walk faster. Why are you going that way? Ugh. No. Why is that popping up? Ugh. Come on! Just... This is... Ridiculous! That's like a minute walking all the way around. And... Oh my... There... To the park... And... There we go! Iron Train. Painter. This guy's out here all day long, all year. He never stops painting. Ever. And I doubt he's ever finished even one painting. even begin to guess what that's supposed to be. A bin? Maybe? Bridge. Nothing adds more to the tranquility of a city park than a huge rusty iron bridge. Okay, what's over here? To the academy. And so the slow walk begins again. With the train. Nothing adds no. more to the tranquility of a city about. park than a huge. Right. Those freight trains pass by at least once every five minutes. Oops. Just. <sighs> this is exasperating. Statue. Okay. Very. cubist. And not my style at all. Okay. Come in. Come on. You can do it. Just a little bit further. Uh, it's like walking with my mum. Uh. How long is that going to take? Reminds me of that line from Madagascar. <laughs> okay, here are you guys. Bishop and Marie. No sport. Right, what else have we got? It's a flag, a mural. And a door. And that seems to be about it. Okay. Got a push pin. Hmm. Found. A gold ring under the common room sofa. If it's yours, let me know. But no false claims, please. Fiona. Right. I did lose a gold ring a few weeks ago. I hope this is the one. I'll have to ask Fiona about it. Well, I suppose I could have done with reading that a bit earlier. How the Venice it? Academy of the Visual <coughs> Arts. World renowned, prestigious, expensive, and my future alma mater. If all goes well with the exhibition and I get my grant, that is. Okay. No, I've got too much to do right now. Oh, fine then. Well, you certainly don't have the air of someone who's got lots to do. Ugh. Right. Rubber gloves. Go upstairs. Bookshelf. Ooh, <laughs> there's a person there who didn't even notice. Don't want to disturb you. Oh, shit. Art books. There's a really nice one here on Turner. I love his landscapes. <clears throat> okay. I wonder what she had to say about rubber gloves. Somebody's thrown away a rubber glove. Really? I had no idea. Why would somebody toss out a perfectly good work glove with just 
one big hole in it. What a terrible, terrible waste. You mean the big hole for putting the hand in? Giddy. <laughs> Hollow sculpture. It's certainly unique. Canvas, books, more books. All right, let's have a look. Emma's really good with the hollow sculptor, and her imagination is so vivid. Good thing we're best friends, or I might be jealous. Hmm. Some books on color, composition, and duck hunting. Hmm. Sketchbooks. Those sketchbooks belong to some of the other students who share the space. Art okay. books, mostly. I've browsed through all of them, looked at the pictures, but I'd much prefer to see the paintings in real life. <coughs> okay. I can only think of two things more depressing than a blank canvas. Death and taxes. Right. I'm way past finger painting. I need a paintbrush and palette. Oh, isn't that convenient? Look what we have. I'm way past finger painting. All right. I need a paintbrush and palette. Paint away. I oh, know someone is coming. Hiya. Emma? Hi! I didn't expect to see you here today. Me neither. Are you busy? Nah. <coughs> well, I am. But I was about to wrap up for today anyway. Why? What's going on? I have an important message for you. <laughs> um... What's the message? What's the message? Believe it or not, girl, but it's from Cortez. He wants to meet you. These are his exact words. Where children visualize their dreams. Visualize dreams? What's that supposed to mean? Me? I was hoping you would know. Um... Did he say anything else? Nope, that was it. Why does he want to meet you? Oh, don't tell me. You guys are having a secret love affair. Oh, yeah. We're eloping and flying to Africa tonight. It's all been happening so fast. My heart's a flutter. <sighs> How romantic. I couldn't imagine a better catch than Senor Cortez, the Latin lover. Ha 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 ha. How funny. All right. Um, uh, did he talk to you about nightmares? Did he talk to you about nightmares? No. Why? I don't know. It's just... My dreams are really starting to bother me. There you go again with dreams. You're obsessing, April. They're just dreams. Sometimes a banana is just a banana. Mm. Um, okay. Cigar. Ah, okay, so this is obviously a saying I haven't heard of, and cigar replaces banana. And a dragon is just called a dragon. And a dragon is just a dragon. What's dragons got to do with it? Oh, don't tell me you had a dream about dragons. A dragon. A talking dragon. That I'm gonna regret listen. this, but what happened in your dream? You well, are. there was a dragon. Wow. I think we established that already. You had a dream about a dragon. Not just any dragon, though. A, a talking, talking dragon. dragon. Oh, hey. Yep, we've been through that. Talking dragon covered. What did it say? She. It was a she, a female dragon. What, you could tell from the skirt, high heels, and lipstick? Don't no. mock me, Emma. She said something to me. Something about being the mother of the future. She probably said time to get up and go to school, April. If you don't want to take my dreams seriously, I'll just stop telling you about them. Is that a promise? <laughs> like you're in any position to make fun of my dreams? Have you looked at your sculptures lately? Oh, that's low. I'd punch you out if I wasn't so hungry. You want to go get some lunch at the fringe? 
Yeah, fine. I'll drop by after I clean up around here. I'll be there for a while, so bye. If this game has puzzles or anything in it, or is it just me clicking and walking around? There'd be something to do. dream, I think. It's Emma's contribution to the ex- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got something. Most likely in this. Okay. So I'm just gonna... Yeah. There you go. Haha. <laughs> right. I did pick up that she said something about crazy. So, okay. Uh, walk faster. Well, he's not there anymore. Never look at his painting. Nice. Very Van Goghish. With just a hint of monk. But you said munch. In the subtitles it said munch. <laughs> um, okay, let's go. God. Ah, who are you? A girl. Well. Nice hair color. Ah, it's pink. I, I see now. Notice board? Did we already look at that? I think we did. It's the official VAVA notice board. No, we didn't. Only registered students are allowed to put notices up here. <laughs> Does that mean you can't? There are certainly a few more people around. The painter is still there. Alright. Come on, you. We're going for a walk. The bridges. <gasps> you can double click and she runs! Oh. Thank God. Ah. I'm so happy now. Is that a... Gun. Man, those guys are in trouble. Don't they know that skateboarding is strictly prohibited in Newport? Okay, to the cafe. I think that's where she said she'd be. We can double click and chill from. <laughs> this is fabulous. Okay. It Backpacker. amazes me why backpackers flock to Newport. You'd think they'd have the good sense to stick to India, Australia, and the near-Earth colonies. The near-Earth colonies. I guess we're gonna find out what that means soon. Lovebirds. I think people should have the good sense to do that kind of stuff behind closed doors. At least as long as I don't have a boyfriend. Hmm. Mystery door. I don't think I've ever seen anybody pass through that door. Isn't that peculiar? And if I was Nancy Drew, I might actually care. <coughs> That's not the guy from before, is it? Is that Emma? No. Have a chat to Charlie. Hi, Charlie. April. Nice to see you, girl. You know, I came to wake you this morning, but you'd already left. Early bird catches the worm. No, early bird finishes the damn painting on time. <laughs> oh, wow. He's even a down arrow. Okay, so there's only one extra. Ah, okay. Um, have you seen Cortez around? Have you seen Cortez around? As a matter of fact, I have. And he was asking for you. So Cortez is the guy I was talking to before. Um, do you have any ideas where you can be able to uh, visualize their dreams? 
Do you have any idea where kids would be able to, um, visualize their dreams? Maybe in therapy? I don't think that's it, Charlie. Then I don't know. Um... Do you know where he was going? No, but he seemed interested in that poster next to the jukebox. They put it up earlier today. Okay. Thanks. Anytime, April. Ah, okay. Well, I'll be honest, I don't really feel like talking to you, so, um... I have to get going, Charlie. Take care, all right? Sure thing. Remember, you're supposed to get paid today. Stan's not gonna remember unless you bug him about it. Okay. To the cafe. Hey, it's Stan. Yeah. Roma Gallery presents Growing Pains. Exhibition by and for kids and teenagers. Could this be what Cortez was talking about? Where kids visualize their dreams? I think this may be it. Where's the Roma Gallery located? I don't know. Where did you tell me? <laughs> Jukebox. Can we turn it off? It took some convincing, but Stan finally agreed to put the jukebox on free play. I'll just choose a track at random. Oops, hopefully he's better than the one that was playing before. Hey, Dan. Something tells me he's not going to be friendly. What you doing here? I... You ain't working this afternoon, are you? I don't want my employees to work 24 hours a day. Go, get sleep. But I'm just... Damn, woman, do I have to babysit you? It's nice to see you too, Stanley. No, I'm not working today. I just came by to... Oh, don't ever say those two words when I'm around. I don't think my ulcer can take it. You? And nice? That's funny. No, working... And not. Don't use those two words in the same sentence. You just did. Damn, I get creeps even when I say them. Okay. <coughs> I'd like to get paid. Damn, woman, don't you know I got a migraine already? Paid? <laughs> God damn it. Why'd they have to make that word sound so obscene? Listen, why don't you leave old Stan alone, huh? They make me feel a whole hell of a lot better. Chew, chew, be good, little girl, hmm? But, hmm. I'd still like to get paid, I'd thank you I'd still like much. to get paid, though. Mighty man, our woman. You really know how to rub it in. God damn it. Yeah, all right. You got your time sheet? Yeah, it's just right here. Um, do I? Um, so I can't open my inventory from here. Yes? 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 Let's see it. God damn, you think I'm gonna take your word for a woman? Um. Okay. So, um. Alright, so it does have another big hole in it. I guess we have to find it. Where would we get it from? I don't know. Oh, That's good. my... Well... Emma's friend, really. Oh, Marcus. Emma. He's a Vava student as well. Vava. Um... Settle this one for us, April. When did Roaring Dale release Sidetracked? Oh, 04, right after the Morning Star exile, those sons of bitches. With blood on their boots, yeah. <laughs> Told you so, Marcus. You said 03. <coughs> I was closer than you, 07, and you call yourself a fan. I don't. Did you speak with Zach today? Why? 
He was upset. Called you a stuck-up bitch. <laughs> he what? You gotta be kidding me. I wasn't even that rude to him. He thinks so. So that even if you came crawling to his door, he wouldn't give you the time of day. Said you called him an asshole. <laughs> oh, either. God. I really don't know when to shut my mouth, do I? Who cares? It's Zack. He hates you, so what? No great loss. That's true. So, what else is going on? What are you doing this afternoon? <sighs> Actually, I came by to see if I could find Cortez. What's with you and this guy? You'd rather spend time with him than us? I have to find out what the message means. Don't look at me. I don't know anything except what I already told you. Ask Charlie. He spoke with Cortez earlier. Wasn't that the guy I talked to before? Okay, I gotta goodbye. run. See you around, stranger. Up you get. There we go. Bread basket. Let's take some bread. There it goes when it might come in handy. Okay. So, where will we get the timesheet from? Ah, here we go. Hi, Charlie. What's up, April? Um, Do you have any idea where I can find the Roma Gallery? Roma Gallery? I seem to remember the name from somewhere, but no, sorry. They have a poster next to the jukebox advertising an exhibit. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember they put up that poster. The address must be written down somewhere, yeah? Did you check? Um... Well... Mind if I ask you a few questions, Maybe Charlie? Tell me. Why would I mind, girl? Where can I find my pay thingy? Um... Thanks, Charlie. <sighs> okay. I'll see you later, Charlie. Later. Bye. Let's take it. Ugh. Right, I can double click it, can't I? To the bridges. And from here to the subway? <laughs> mm. Yeah, stick him up, buddy. Ah, oh, right, okay, that just made sense. And she's walking slowly again. And who are you? Commemorative plaque. My dad, that's your name, it's just a thing in front of you. It's a plaque commemorating the Venice Massacre of 2109. It reads, In honor of those who died defending our right to live. <laughs> Indeed. Why, why did you come from over here for the parks that... To the subway. Mm. Uh oh. I have to get scanned. Jumping gates in the Newport subway is a corporate offense liable to get me five years behind bars, if I'm lucky. The gates scan everybody who goes in and out of the station and compares their genetic signature with the database. If you haven't paid your fare, the alarm goes off and the cops show up. Oof. So I need money. Simple as that. <coughs> to the park. Even though I came from over there. Oh no, that oh I'm an idiot. Didn't come from the park, it came from the bridges. Okay. 
I wonder if this will trigger any events. Don't know what I'm going here for, but there's anything else on the court board. I'm sorry, but big sweaty jocks do not turn me on. I'll take a nerd any day. Be considerate. Keep the volume down after 11 p.m. Fiona. Look, okay. it's Monkey Boy! Yeah, thing of. Nuh uh. I'm not knocking on that door unless it's absolutely necessary, and frankly, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Uh. Nobody home. Oh dear. It's a small apartment. Do you even have your own toilet? I worry about the exhibition. Okay, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to see if I can figure out what to do next because I'm not really getting any strong hints as to where I'm meant to go right now. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.